There was once a fancy named man who went by Appleby Bobble Gran. And uh, this Appleby Bobble Gran was the man to go to if you needed some fancy name demands. One time, a lady went to him asking for a, a comb known as a, a blabobinometer comb. And uh, Apple Bobble Blah 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 Bobble Gran said, uh, I can get you one of those. And so he went into his back stores and he looked. He looked and he looked alphabetically stored through all the crazy letters and all that. And he found it. Apple Baba Gobble 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 Comb. Of course, the comb that can also tell you what time of day it is while you're combing your hair based on the based on the state of your hair uh, alone. It tells you the time of day. And he handed it to her and she said, Why, Mr. Apple Gobble Gobble Gram, you are the one who gives me the things I need. Thank you. And she left fully satisfied. But one day, a man walked in and he said, uh, I need a bop, you know, give me, just give me a bop. And, and Apple, Baba Lava, Baba Graham Jam, and he, uh, he said, I can't give you a bop. It's just too simple. If it was a, a bop and apple, a pop, pop, I could give you one. If it was a, a ba -ba job and a bop, -ba -bop, I have those two. But a bop, nah, that's, that's far too simple for me. You're going to have to go over to Joe's. See, Joe sells bops. And the man said, well, I've been to Joe's and he does sell bops, but his bops don't do what I need. I need a fancy bop. And uh, Jim Bimba Limba Wimba Dram said, there's no such thing as a fancy bop. It's a three letter word. It's not fancy at all. It's just a bop. And he said, well, you know, I disagree. I personally think you can have a fancy bop. And he says, well, let me see if I can find something close to a fancy bop, right? So he went into the back and he looked and he looked around and he saw um, the closest thing he had was a, a glababa knob -op, a glababa knob -op, and he pulled it out and he brought it to him and he said, listen, this is the, this is the shortest word I have that resembles a bop and, and as far as what the object itself is, well, as you can clearly see, um, it resembles a bop in some ways, but it's not a bop, it's a flababa knob -op. And the, the, the simple man who wanted this, his simple bob, his, his fancy bob rather, he said, well, tell you what, I'll take this uh, flab and bob and I'll bring it over to Joe's and see what he thinks. So he did that and he took it over to Joe's and Joe said, hmm, yes. And then he said, well, what about, uh, you know, more description than that? Could you tell me if this will substitute a bop? And Joe said, hmm, yes. And then the man said, you know, this is why I didn't want your bop, Joe. It's just everything's a little too simple here. I need some, I need some fuller sentences from you. And Joe said, okay. But then, you know, he waited. He sat there and waited. He said, yeah, you know what? I'm just going to test this bop. I'll try it. And then he, he wound up the flab and bop and he, he sent it down the room. He threw it with his arm. That's what you do with a flab and bop. And it, it did a little twirl, it spun around the room, and it slammed Joe right in the head. And Joe said, Whoa, Klaba Shlui! And then that's when it, something clicked in him, you know? And he realized the appeal of fanciness. And he said, Whoa, Mr. Mans, you just showed me that that flab and bop is a hell of a bop. Oh, yeah, it's the best bop I've ever bopped on. And the man who was buying the bop, obviously, was, was happy to hear this. So he said, Thank you, sir. Thank you, Joe, for your uh, assessment. And then Joe said, don't call me Joe, I'm Zimba Nimba Joe now. And it, it, he went on as Zimba Nimba Joe and across the street, Mr. Glabin and Jabba Naba Ba Laba Wa Ba Ba. He, he said, you know, I'm happy to have another fellow fancy man across the street now. And people are appreciating it. And they're coming here for Flab and Abops because they, they saw your review on, on, on Google Boogla reviews. So it was really just, it was a good day for everyone down there. And, and, and fanciness reigned. It reigned supreme. Um, until it stopped. Until it stopped. And then Mr. Schlagen, Blagen, Jun, Zagen, you know, he changed his name back to, to Tom. And, and Joe changed his name back to Joe. And they took their signs down and they stocked their shelves full of regular bops. But that's a story for another day.